Let us take a look at an example for a foreign key. So here I have two tables. One is a department table and it has two columns, department ID, which is the primary key and department name column. The another table is an employee table, which has four columns, employee ID, which is the primary key in the employee table, employee name, employee address and department ID. So in the department column, I have some records. So 121 is the department ID for the department scope and 122 is the department ID for the department by name SBST. So we have two departments in our university and uh, we have some employees working for these departments. So let's enter a record for the employee. Let's assume Satish is uh, having this employee ID 451 and his address is from Chennai. So now Satish is working for one of the departments of the university. So it means that whatever value that is entered in the department ID should be present in the department ID column in the department table. Only then that will be a valid record. So if Satish is working for scope, then I can very well mention the department ID as 121. So what it means is I'll be able to fetch the department details of Satish using the department ID column here. So department ID is actually a foreigner. From where this department ID has come, this has come from another table and that is this table. So this ID should be unique in this uh, column, right? So if I want to know what is the department name for Satish, I should take this ID, search it here so that I'll be able to find the, the department name as scope. So this value that we are entering here, there are two conditions, there are two requirements for this value. It should be unique in this column in the department table and whatever value we enter here, it is mandatory for that to be present in the department ID column in the department table. So this value is used for linking the employee table and the department table. So we call that to be a foreign key. So what is a foreign key? It is a rule. It is a constraint that says that whatever value you are entering here should be unique in the department uh, tables department ID column and also whatever value you are entering here should be present in the department ID column. So only then such a uh, record entry will be allowed. So if you establish something to be a foreign key, these rules will be established. Say suppose you have established department ID as a foreign key and uh, you are trying to insert a record like this. So what is the record we have inserted? We have inserted record for Ramesh with employee ID as 452 and employee address as Velour. Whereas when you take a look at the department ID, we are entering it as 129. But is 129 a valid department ID? How to find the department name for Ramesh? We have to take this and we have to search it over here. But you see there is no department ID uh, called 129. So this is an invalid record, right? It's like Ramesh is an employee working for a department which is not existing at all. So when you establish this column as a foreign key, what are the two things that will be checked? You know, whenever you are trying to insert a record, these things will be checked. It will check whether this value is present in this column. Since this value is not present in that column, uh, this kind of an insert will not be allowed when we establish a foreign key constraint on the department ID column. So by establishing foreign keys, we can avoid such issues. We can establish data integrity within our database. So in this example, we are going to see how to establish foreign keys on a MySQL database using the PHP MyAdmin interface. I have very well uh, in a detailed manner explained about foreign keys in my lecture on database management systems. I'll give the link in the description. If you are very keen in understanding the in-depth concept behind foreign keys, you can very well watch that lecture. But uh, for us to understand, to go ahead with this demonstration, I hope this explanation is good enough. So let's move to PHP MyAdmin now and understand how to establish a column to be a foreign key. I have opened up my PHP MyAdmin interface. So in this interface, I have this database called VIT and inside VIT, I'm going to create a table by name department. Then I will create the employee table and I will show you how to establish the foreign key constraint between the employee table and the department table. So let's create a new table.
let me enter the table name as department and the columns will enter the first column as department uh, id which will be fair care will give length as uh, 10 and then we'll have another column that is uh, department name this will also be variable length character let's give a length of 20 and uh, there's one important thing department id should be unique right it should be declared as the primary key for that we will select uh, that to be the primary key okay so let's uh, save this let's save this uh, table let's create this table first that's what we are doing here Okay, now our table is uh, ready. We can browse the structure for this table. Yeah, we have the department ID defined as the primary key and then we have the department name column. Now we'll insert two records of two departments in our department table. For that, I'll click on insert. Okay, let me enter the very first department ID as uh, one to one and uh, department name to be scope and then let's save this record let me enter the next record department id is 122 and department name is sbst let me save this record okay let's browse and check whether our records are there in the department table Okay, here we have those two records that we have inserted just now in the department table. So our department table is done. The next table we have to create is the employee table. Let's click on new. I'll enter the table name as employee. And the very first column in the employee table is employee ID. It's a uh, var care of 10. And the next uh, column will be employee name which will be where care of 20 and the next column is uh, employee address uh, which is uh, where care of 20 again and the final column is uh, department id which will be where care of 10 and in the employee table we have the employee id to be the primary key so i select that column to be the primary key Let's uh, save this. So the primary key is uh, created. And then we have to create the employee table. So we have, uh, we are now creating the employee table. The employee table has been created. Now what we'll do is we'll insert records in the employee table. Let's go with uh, some insert operations on the employee table. Let me select the employee table and insert values in the employee table. So let me click on insert. We'll enter the first employee record. Employee ID is 451. Employee name is uh, Satish. Employee address is say Chennai. And uh, department ID. Say if this employee works for the department scope, the ID for scope is 121. So we'll save this record. Okay, so we can browse and check whether the record has been inserted. It says the query is successful and the record is inserted. Let's browse for it. Okay, we have this record here. Suppose I want to know the department name for which uh, Satish is working. I have to use this department ID, uh, browse to the department table, and then fetch the corresponding department name. So here the department ID is 121. I want to know the department name for this employee Satish. So in that case, I have to travel to this department uh, table and then I have to find what is the corresponding department name. So for 121, what is the corresponding department name? That is scope. So now again, let's go to the employee table and then we'll insert another record. That will be the record for another employee by name, Ramesh. So employee ID is uh, 452. Employee name is uh, Ramesh. Employee address is Vellur. And now I'll enter the department ID. Say I'll enter it as 129 and then I will save my record. 
So here 129 is an invalid department IT. Why I am saying that to be invalid is you don't have a department with department ID as 129 in the department table. So here the record has been inserted. Let me browse for this uh, record in the table. You see here we have an employee who is working for department ID 129. But is there a department with the department ID 129? If we check the department uh, table that we have created, we are not having a department with a department ID as 129. So here we have inserted a bad record. That's what is the meaning here. So this doesn't preserve data integrity. So you don't have a department with uh, department ID 129, but you are having an employee who is working for a department by name 129. How to avoid or how to prevent uh, these kind of bad inserts? For this, we have to establish a foreign key constraint on the department ID column on the employee table. So we have to say this department ID is a foreign key. So before establishing this constraint, we have to remove any such bad or invalid records. If you have such an invalid record, you will not be able to establish a foreign key constraint. So let me first delete this uh, bad record. So this is the very first step. You have to clean your table. Say if you have records already inserted in the table and you are establishing a foreign key constraint, since it's, uh, it's, a, it's violating the rule, you cannot establish the foreign key constraint. So you have to delete all such invalid records. And now we'll go to establishing department ID in the employee table as a foreign key constraint. For that, you click on structure. And then you click on relation view. And now we have to give a constraint name. For every constraint you establish, there should be a constraint name. Normally, the name that I used to give is the table name, that is uh, employee underscore column name that is department underscore id underscore foreign key fr so this is the constraint name and we'll be using the constraint names mostly for dropping the constraint or viewing the constraint from the constraint table so that is the use of a constraint name and uh, which column that is the department id column in the employee table the department table is in which database the vit database and which table inside the VIT database, that is the department table, and which column in the department table, that is the department ID column. So we are linking the department ID column in the employee table with the department ID column in the department table. Let me repeat it again. First, we have to give a constraint name. Next, we have to select which column in the employee table, that is the department ID is linked to which database, VAT database, which table inside VAT database, department table, and which column inside the department table, department ID column. And we have two things here, on delete restrict, on delete cascade, on delete sentinel. So I have explained all these things in my lecture on uh, foreign keys. You can very well refer to that. For now, I will uh, set it as on delete cascade. What it means is when you delete the record in the department table, if I delete the department records, automatically the records corresponding to that particular department ID in the employee table will be deleted. Say if I delete the department record for scope, automatically those records in the employee table or, or, or those records of employees who are working for scope will also be deleted. That is on delete cascade. So this is how you establish a foreign key constraint. Let me save this. Okay, the foreign key constraint has been established. Now let's see the use or the purpose of this uh, constraint. Say, let me again go to my employee table and then I'll try inserting this record of Ramesh, which is going to have an invalid department ID, that is department ID 129. Let me try inserting this uh, bad record again. So now we have established this rule. Let me try inserting this bad record again. So let me go to insert. Let me insert uh, the record for Ramesh. So it's 452. Uh, and the employee name is Ramesh. Ramesh is from Vellore. Now you see automatically what is getting, uh, what are the options I have here is, I can either select 121 or 122. So now the foreign key constraint has been established. I will not be able to enter any other values other than 121 or 122. And these values have been populated from the department tables, department column. So we are rest restricting here. We cannot enter any bad values here. So obviously, if he's working for SBST, I have to select 122 alone. I cannot enter any other value. 
so that is how that restriction comes into place you will not be able to enter any more bad records into the table so we have two uh, tables here employee and department table and we are linking that with a foreign key so now if you go and browse for the record you would have uh, the record of ramesh but then the department uh, id for ramesh will be a valid department id that is 122 because we are forcing the uh, user to select only the valid department id in this case thereby we are maintaining data integrity within our database okay so before winding up i would like to just give a very small example of fetching data by joining these two tables say i have employee name here and department name in the department table suppose i want to print the employee name and the department name for each employee say satish is working for department id 121 but his department name is in the department uh, table so i want an output like this satish scope ramesh sbst so we are joining employee table and department table here and what is the key we are going to use for joining the department id so if i want to find the department name for uh, satish how will i find that take the department id in this employee table and then we have to match that department id in the department table so take the department id go to this department id in the department column and find the department name so you're going to print satish and scope likewise you take 122 search for it here and then print sbst so i'll write a simple sql query which uses a equi join that is it is going to use the department id match these two tables and print the employee name and department name so again on several types of joins i put up separate lecture videos in my lectures on database management system so there i have discussed uh, in depth on all the different types of join here this is just a, a small example on how to write an equi join query so it is a select i'm going to select the uh, employee name comma department uh, name from which two tables from the employee table comma department table where we have to give the condition where the condition that is department id in the employee table is equal to department id in the department table so a very simple equi join it's going to print the employee name and the department name let's run this query and check whether our output is correct so again this is just a brief example if you are interested in learning joins you have to visit uh, my lecture on joins uh, which i put forward uh, in my lectures on database management systems I'll be leaving the link for the lectures in the description. If you're interested to learn more about joins, you can learn it from there. So let's see whether we're getting the output here. Okay, here is the result. Satish is working for scope and Ramesh is working for SBST. So we got the correct results. I hope you all have understood what is the foreign key and how to establish foreign keys on a MySQL database using the PHP MyAdmin interface. Thank you.